Hello, Gemini. Thank you for tuning into your general read. For the main part of the read, I'm using the Modern Spellcaster's Tarot by Melanie Marquis, illustrated by Scott Murphy. For the support of Oracle Cards, I have the Angel Answers Oracle Cards by Doreen Virtue and Randy Valentine. Already started. Or already shuffled. Already started. Okay. <sighs> I'm feeling like the energy's already going to race, so... Is that me, or is that the situation. <coughs> Excuse me. All right. So, Gemini. There's a lot there's a lot going on is what it feels like just cuz there's so many cards that popped out here, but let's see what we got. We're starting out with the moon card. Now the situation isn't quite clear is what I'm getting. I'm getting like whatever's going on here, you're not even really sure what you're looking at yet. And your response to that is to wait it out and just, because it's not, it's like in murky water, you're not even sure what you're looking at, let alone how to react to it. It's an interesting way to start off a situation. Um, but it is dealing with a social aspect here. And there's a lot going on around you, and I'm feeling like people are just... I feel like you're looking at people you know, and something about the way people are treating each other doesn't seem to match. I feel like there's something missing in this puzzle. Be it for better or for worse, people are not acting the way you would expect them to with each other. The interactions between people are different than usual. Different than usual. Now, the next card I'm seeing here, what's really oddly enough, this is how it's coming in. You got the Five of Wands with the Ask Your Angels kind of doing this thing, and I'm noticing two people with blindfolds and somebody standing behind them kind of enjoying the show. So I feel like there's a little bit of manipulation going on behind the scenes or something like people are just messing with each other is what I'm getting. And you are in that spot where you don't want any part of this. <clears throat> and you're not, but you're, this is part of that same thing where you're not really understanding why this is happening. Like somebody, there seems to be some manipulation but to you, it's quite obvious. And you're wondering why this is playing out the way it is. I feel like you you have a lot of questions. Like, why is this happening the way it is? Why are people doing what they're doing? Why is this discord? But it's, it's weird because it's almost like people are getting riled up about something, but there's there's not much they can do about it. And this, somebody else behind the scenes is kind of like, pushing the buttons or egging people on, but it doesn't make sense, like, what, what's the purpose? Like, where is it going? It doesn't seem to make even any sense in that respect, like, getting people riled up, but why are you doing that? Now, <clears throat> there, there's kind of an aggressive nature here, but I'm getting that things do kind of calm down. And it seems like whatever the reason was here, whatever was going on, because I don't feel like you're still kind of like, at this point, like, why why would this, why is this even happening? It doesn't make sense. It seems like there's a lot of unanswered questions, like, what's setting people off? It seems like it's kind of obvious to you, like, who's doing it? Who's pushing the buttons? But you still don't get why. But the thing is, things have kind of calmed down, and they're kind of more relaxed. And I feel like you're stepping back out of it because... It's almost like if you ask questions, you're going to get some of that heat yourself, and you don't really want to do that because it seems like it's a really strange situation. It seems very strange. Now, as you're waiting this out, it's still affecting you because I feel like it's kind of like an undercurrent at this point. You realize it's going on, but you're just, you're kind of staying out of it, so things seem to be calming down, but you're not trusting that they're really calm. It's just you're thinking you're just not seeing it at the moment. And around you, somebody's kind of trying to get you into the situation. Somebody's trying to pull you into it. But 
the thing is, you're still stuck trying to figure out what's going on. That seems to be a big thing here. I'm getting with the, the two of um, wands. Like, you're trying to understand what's going on. You're trying to keep a foot in reality to understand really what's actually happening here. But you're also kind of getting lured into it. People are trying to, like, pull you in. And you're, it's just a really, it's, it feels very confusing at this point. But I feel like as people are trying to pull you in, that's when your questions are coming out and you're trying to get some answers. I feel like you're getting conflicting information, though. And I feel like that's another reason you have the two of wands here at the top. You're getting conflicting information, either from the same source or different sources. Either way, it's still like things aren't really like... Uh, it's almost like you said we're going east, but it turns out we're actually going west. Like, wait a minute. <laughs> like, what is really happening here? You know what I mean? Like one person saying, "Oh, it went that way. It went west. This oh, this whole situation is going west." And somebody else said, "No, no, no. It's completely going east." And then somebody else is saying, "No, no. It's not going anywhere. It's actually staying where it is." It's kind of like, wait a minute. We can't move and not move. We can't go in two completely opposite directions at the same time. Like something, something isn't right here. You're getting conflicting information, and it just seems like a lot of confusion. And you're wondering, like, what is the truth here? But you're getting a lot of information, a lot of communication. You're asking your questions, but you're not finding a lot of stability into it. There's just It's not stable. We're going into this last section, and I do see you getting actually involved at this point. I'm getting you're going back to the person who you saw pushing the button. You seem to be involved in this with, with the chariot. I feel like you're you're involved and you're you're going with the questions, but you're like, all right, this is this is ridiculous. I mean, it's already I'm already ending up to a part of the situation anyway. Let me go to the source, or somehow you're getting right to that source. The person you saw pushing the buttons, egging it on. You're asking your questions there. You're going right to the source of like what is actually happening here, because something like you're realizing people are upset. But exactly why and what's going on, it seems like that's not clear. It seems like it's clear one second, then there's opposing information, then it's not clear who did what, why are things happening, why is there so much discord. So you're going right to the source. You're going right to the source here is what I'm getting with the chariot. You're heading right towards it. Now, this person explains to you exactly everything that's happening, what they know, and why they're upset. And I feel like something you saw earlier where you thought they were egging it on, it makes more sense about, about why things were happening. It makes more sense about what's actually going on. Because I feel like you got the yes here with the exclamation. You're getting the actual answers. You seem to be seeing what's truly happening here. You're getting your answers because you saw where it was actually stemming from. And they're explaining to you exactly why. And it's putting you in that position to understand what exactly needs to happen here. And oddly enough, I feel you get involved and you're actually bringing some stability to the situation. I feel like you're explaining to people or you're trying to explain to people, you know, what's actually going on here. You're trying to bring some stability to it because things seem really out of focus. And just people are going left and right and people seem more confused than you were before you understood what was actually happening. I feel like you got your answers and whatever that entailed for you, like, I don't, I don't know if you're really worried about how it's affecting the person who's actually pushing the buttons, but I feel like you're you're going to the people you care about, and you're you know you're diffusing it. The people you care about, you're touching base with, and you're you know you're calming the issue down. You're you're getting those unanswered questions solved, or at least some direction on what needs to happen with that. <clears throat> I feel like you're you're seeing the situation from a higher level, and you're bringing this in, and you're pulling it in, and Excuse me, and you're um, you're helping the people you care about, like you're helping those people. Like I feel like you got the pieces you need, but also one of the reasons you're going to the people you love is because you're going to find out what's going on with them for the reason they're reacting the way they are. And you got enough information now to like, help calm this down for them. When I'm getting this Queen of Pentacles at the end, which don't get caught up in the gender, like I always say. But I feel like this is you taking care of those you love and like calming the situation down, 
bringing it to a sane level, you know, just like solving the mystery as much as you can. Just like, I feel like you're bringing a lot more of stability to the situation because there's so much misinformation or confusion out there. And you seem to be pulling it from, you're seeing it from all these different sides. You're finally, at one point, go to that main person where you saw it way back in the beginning where this was starting. You got your answers. You went and learned from them. They seem to have shared that information quite freely with you. That's what it feels like here. You know what's happening. You got the yes here with the exclamation. I feel like that's why that's there. Saying you understand what's happening here. You know what's going on, what the craziness is. You're taking that to the people you love. You're diffusing and trying to bring some stability to it. Because things just seem like it's a popcorn machine. Like, pow, 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 going everywhere. You're like, all right, let's turn off, let's turn the heat down for one. <laughs> I think we have enough popcorn. Let's turn it down. And then I feel like you're like, all right, all right, let's just go through this. This is what I know. Let's see, how are you reacting? Like, why are you, why are you upset? Or why are you having this reaction? You know what I mean? I feel like you're helping put this together and kind of calm the situation down for the people you care about. Because you're like, this is, this is out of hand. This needs to stop. And you're bringing that stability because you're talking it out and you're helping bring that to the next level. Good? Good. I feel like that was good. I, feel, I like how this is ending. Because I feel like you're coming into a situation and you're like, I don't even know what's going on here. And then you get to a point where you see who's kind of pushing the buttons and you're just like, I'm not sure why they're doing that. And I feel like you're trying to stay out of it and then people are trying to pull you in and finally you're like, cause people are trying to pull you in and you're asking these questions. It just seems to be a lot of contradicting information. You're like, you know what, let me just go back to the source, find out what's going on. They seem to freely give you that information and that's from there then you stabilize everything with the people you care about. I don't feel like you're going to like everybody and their brother, but like the people you care about that it's upsetting or causing discord with, you're getting in with them and talking this out and like bringing answers and stability to chill out the situation. Good? Good. All right. Thank you for watching. Of course, if you would like a direct reading from me, shoot me an email, jamesforastral at gmail.com. That's James, the number four, astral at gmail.com. Thank you.